Hey everyone, Tim Curlis with Ahead here, and today we're going to be talking about blue-green deployments and how we do this on Amazon Web Services. Very simply, a blue-green deployment is the idea of having an active deployment environment for your application, blue in this case, and an exact copy of that environment in a passive state, green in this case. Uh, so beginning, green is a clone of blue, however, development can then go ahead and apply their changes to green. Uh, they can test all the changes because it's an exact copy of blue uh, and essentially just iterate on it and get all their testing done. And once the testing is vetted out and we're ready to go, we simply do a swap and green becomes active and blue becomes passive. Uh, so it's a very easy and safe way to get changes into production by flip-flopping environments. And of course, uh, a great benefit of this is if there's any issues, blue hasn't been touched, so we simply swap back to blue and, and fix our issues. Uh, in Amazon Web Services, there's essentially three main ways we do this. So the first way is using a DNS swap. This is about as simple as it sounds. We go into Route 53 and we update our, our main DNS point with a C name to either blue or green to do the swap. Uh, downside of this, of course, is our time to live uh, and, and DNS timeout values around the internet. This can take you know anywhere from five to 15 minutes to really affect a change, which sometimes is fine, it's very simple, but sometimes it needs to be something faster. Uh, the second method is to do a, a, a load balancer swap, basically swapping our auto scaling groups behind the load balancer. So we have the existing uh, auto scaling group for blue that we drain out, and then as we do that, we bring up the auto scaling group in green and provision instances with the new code base. Uh, once that drain and that provisioning is complete, the swap happens in the load balancer level, and nothing changes on DNS, so uh, kind of a much faster way to do things. And the third way is that uh, within a single auto-scaling group, we're updating the launch configuration. So we have the blue launch configuration, and we create a new launch configuration for green with the new image uh, and our new application. And uh, we slowly drain out the blue configuration and bring up the green configuration and effect a swap that way. The various demo apps we're going to show center around a single demonstration app that we created for our fictitious ahead aviation company uh, called Bag App. And Bag App is like you might expect from a airline company to allow you to track your baggage as you uh, travel around. And this is a simple application using a Python Flask app server with a MySQL backend. And it originated on site with uh, virtual machines and was managed by Chef. And so this represents the first iteration of that. We lift it and shift it into Amazon Web Services on, as EC2 images. Um, there really aren't any changes. Chef still manages the configuration. Uh, the only difference is it's running in EC2 now. Here we are in our AWS Management Console, and you can see we're in CloudFormation. Uh, we've written a single master CloudFormation template here. You can see IAS bag blue green. And this template has three children templates, uh, one each for the blue and green environments and one for the DNS swap. And so this example is going to use the first uh, blue green methodology we talked about using uh, DNS swap. Um, so the blue and the green templates create individual environments that are pretty much the same. Um, e each has uh, auto scaling groups with launch configurations, elastic load balancers and a database. Um, complete with the images. And again, Chef grabs the code. So the only thing different between these is which code Chef grabs um, to create the two different environments. And the third child template is the DNS swap. So this takes in a parameter, either blue or green, and correspondingly updates the Route 53 entry um, to change the C name between blue and green. So if we're ready to make a swap, blue uh, is our active environment and green represents our changes. Uh, we come in here, we can update the stack, and we simply uh, update the deployment type, in this case to green. Uh, you could go back to blue the same way. Uh, hit next a couple of times and submit. And this will go ahead and change uh, just the DNS uh, template, which will update the Route 53 parameter. And um, if we go and check here, uh, again, this um, will change, but is currently timing out because uh, it, the DNS um, changeover has the time to live value that needs to be swapped. Uh, so once that five or 15 minutes or so elapses, uh, this should come back.